my name is Brendan Beast and I'm here to talk to you about the chemistry of cauliflower here. The video that will be coming up shortly will feature my friends Trent and Quintel. One way of getting cauliflower ear are repeated hits to the ears, for example in wrestling or boxing, in mishaps and piercing the ears. The components that make up cauliflower ear are red blood cells, white blood cells, plasma, and platelets. The platelets are the most important component during this process along with white blood cells. Platelets send proteins such as von Willebrand factor, that's a glue-like structure that holds the platelets to the blood vessel wall. Other proteins like collagen and thrombin act towards the injured area to help the platelets stick together. The thrombin converts fibrinogen, a net-like structure that makes all the blood cells and proteins come to one. This is the developed clot that holds the vessels plugged. Now white blood cells are the main cells to reach the injured area to release substances that attract more white blood cells. White blood cells are the cells that act as messengers to the platelets to start forming the process of clotting. This is the main process of cauliflower ear. Now I will be showing my ear for an example between the differences of a normal ear and an ear affected by cauliflower ear. see my ear has the starting stages of cauliflower ear. You can tell by the thickness and feeling in my ear that it has started to harden. This was caused by not wearing protective headgear such as this during practice and tournaments. In all, cauliflower ear is very painful and the only way to relieve the pressure and get rid of it would be to drain it. Thank you for watching.